Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Decadence by Marc Jacobs. This is a fragrance I debated on getting for quite a while because it is a little bit on the heftier price point. But my husband surprised me with it, and someone surprised you with a free perfume. You don't you, you don't tell him no. So you know, um, definitely a different fragrance from anything Marc has ever ever done. Um, and I, I really like the whole kind of packaging and essence to this fragrance. So the box looks like this. And it says Marc Jacobs Decadence on the front. It says Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer, blah, blah, blah. 100 mil on one corner, 3.4 ounces on the other side. Um, the entire box is kind of like a crushed, like, velvet. To the point where, like, I could rub my... I don't know if it even changes, but it does kind of hold fingerprints and, like, impressions, which I think kind of adds the whole essence of the bottle or box. And it's kind of got, like, the words are almost, like, pressed in and they're, like, laced with gold. Um, and then you got the barcode on the bottom and on the back you've got all the information on it, which tells you, you know, all that stuff. I do really like this box. The only thing I don't like is it, like... I don't know if I just got a shitty end of the stick on the box, but mine's almost coming apart right here. So I don't know what's with that. But I do really like this box. It's very pretty. It's different from anything I have in my collection. I don't really have a box that is like crushed velvet. I do have some boxes that are like the other half crushed velvet on the inside or whatever, but nothing that's like the outside of the box. And then the bottle looks like this. Um, it is a purse handbag sort of thing. Um, it's got a chain on it that you can hold it like this. It's got a cute little black tassel. The lid looks like almost like snake skin. Um, and it kind of curves all the way around. And then like the chain goes through there. Definitely not a cheaply done bottle. Hence to why it does have that little bit of a heftier price point. The bottle comes apart like this. Um, and you've got like this metallic -y gold here. Um... When you get the box, this is in its own little, like, protective box with tissue paper and everything. There's a lot of high classness that's done into this bottle and box, and I really like that. So, and then the bottle just looks like this normally, and it says Marc Jacobs Decadence on the front. So, this fragrance is a complete departure from anything Marc has ever done. Like I said earlier, most of his fragrances are fun, fun and flirty and, like, whatnot, like, um... You've got, like, Honey and, like, Daisy and Lola and Oh Lola and, like, all those which are very, like, all of them are very fruity or, like, floral fruity. These Like, they aren't very, um, sophisticated or, they're not, you know, not to say that they're younger, but they aren't as mature and grown up as this is. So, this one, it's notes, top notes are Italian Mandarin, Chevron, and Iris. Um, middle notes are Bulgarian Rose, Jasmine Sandback, and Cyrus Root. The base notes include Amber, Vetiver, and Papyrus Wood. Like I said, very grown up for anything he has ever done. So, when I first spray this fragrance, I get that plum. When you first, first spray it, I do get a little bit of that plum. But it's not a, like, juicy, um... Katy Perry Mad Pu or Katy Perry Killer Queen Plum. It's very kind of edgy and sophisticated plum. I do feel like that's part of the iris and the Bulgarian Rose kind of peeking up behind there. I do get a little bit of like the saffron and the iris. Um, I feel like the iris almost adds a little bit more of that floralness to the top. As it starts to dry down, I definitely do get that Bulgarian Rose. And the um, Osiris, those are kind of like two big things I do really smell. Um, as it goes down even further into the base, I would say I get probably the amber, like that liquid amber and the vetiver the most. It kind of has like an edgy greenness to the fragrance, which I do like how like everything is done in green. Because I do get a lot of green notes with this, with the iris and, you know all the florals, it does kind of remind me of like a very green fragrance. Um, I would say this is a springtime fragrance, definitely more mature. I would say this is upper 30s 
to later. Um, I don't always put age ranges on fragrance, but this is very, very, very mature. It is almost too mature for me to even think about wearing. Um, it does have kind of some sentimental meaning to me since my husband got it for me. Um, but it's not too heavy and too overly mature that I can't wear it. I just, personally, I do prefer my more fruity tropical scent, so this isn't my normal uh, fragrance house that I like um, for fragrances. But I, I, I do kind of stick more toward, like, I do like the, if you ever saw the Marc Jacobs gift set that looks like this, it came in the Daisy set, Daisy Dream set. There was one in here called Sweet Dream. It was a rollerball. Um, I really do like this one. Those are kind of my normal, like, the berries, the sweeter, the caramely, the fruity, the tropical. Those are the type of scents I normally like. So, nothing against this fragrance. Not that I don't like it. It's just more mature for me. I have worn this out to the club, and, um, you guys know I don't go to the club very often. So, I, the one time I did wear this out to the club... Um, I did get a lot of compliments on it. Um, it is a very different fragrance from anything that's out there on the market. Um, it is unique in the way it's composed, and it does change on everyone. Um, I've had my sister wear this, and it smelled completely different on her than it did on me. So, I would say Lasting Power, the first time I ever wore this fragrance, I sprayed it on my wrist, um, wore it all day, could smell it all day, went to bed, woke up the next morning, took a shower, and I could still smell it. Um, I could probably say lasting power without showering anything. Please don't go this long without it. But I would say like 29 hours. Like it's got some damn lasting power to it. You are definitely, if this is a scent you like, you're definitely getting your money worth for buying this for that little bit of a heftier price tag that's attached to it. So I would recommend it trying it out in the store first or ordering a sample of it from somewhere before you buy it. Um, just because I feel like this is almost a, like, a special market. I would love to see him make, like, spinoffs to this, like he's done with Daisy and all the other ones. I would love to see, like, a pink purse or, like, a, a lighter version of this fragrance or almost, like, a fruity version. Because, like, the whole concept behind this fragrance of it being high class and elegant, I would love to see a high class, sophisticated, elegant, fruity scent from Mark. Um, I feel like if anyone could knock it out of the park, it would be him. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Mark Jacobs' Decadence. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter. A, that's Perfume, and Instagram, among the stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, as always. Have a great day, guys. Bye.